when the fight gets done and, I, and we get it all on and we get a date in the venue, then it's on, isn't it? And then we can see if the big belly is going to beat the rabbit. <laughs> Would you rather it be across the road here at Wembley Stadium than out in Saudi Arabia? I'm a prize fire. I'm, I'm go where the money is. If it's in Saudi Arabia, if it's in Hong Kong, or if it's in Derek's back garden, I go for the money. I'm a prize fighter, that's what I do. I go in, get me brains beat out of me for a few quid. And it becomes obsessive. It becomes obsessive. They're the old prize fighting game. And that's why it's difficult to walk away. You're an icon, Derek. Tyson, you're becoming a legend in the sport. And I've got to speak to one other legend who's sitting alongside you both now. Bob, <coughs> listening very intently. What's the percentage of getting this fight announced with Alexander Usyk and Tyson in the next week to 10 days? It depends. You know, there was a movie uh, with... Uh, uh, Jerry Maguire, show me the money. When we see the money, then, you know, we'll uh, go where the money is. Now, if the money isn't really there, which I don't believe, I really believe it is, then we'll make our own money in Wembley. But right now, it looks like uh, we're going to make a deal in the Mideast where the money is, for the fight because you know the one thing with boxers with every athlete they have limited lifespan as far as their career you know it's not like a person like a non-participant like me that can do this crap till he's past nerd 90 you know a boxer can't stop it i have to stop that interview there i'm honestly don't get me wrong, there's a lot of boxers here who put a lot of graft in and don't get much out of it. But I do, please don't lecture me on these dudes making $30 million. Oh, it's so bad for them. We need to make sure we get maximum money because otherwise they can't. Are you serious? These guys are making more than a thousand people earn in a lifetime in 30 minutes. And you're lecturing us on why it needs to be, why the money needs to be maximised. Now, I'm not saying that people should drop their fiduciary duty and be messy like Joe Joyce's team. Joe Joyce's team are messy dudes, man. I don't know what they'd be doing. I'm not telling you to be like that, but come on now. And what this proves is, Usyk, and I, I believed Usyk. And I didn't even put it out speculation-wise. I said, I'm backing what Usyk's saying. If Usyk tells me Belly is bugging for more money, I believe it. And what do we hear here? Show me the money. Yeah? Bob Arum. Show me the money, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. Show me the money. There's a film. Show me the money. Tyson Fury starts talking. Oh. 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 All well. Oh. I'll fight for free. Oh. One minute he's saying that. Next minute. Oh, I'm a prize fighter. I'll get, uh, I need to get paid. And he even said before that, oh, um, Usyk's been calling me the belly and I'm not going to beef with Usyk because um, the fight's not signed yet. We need to get a fight signed first. It's all just a bit buggy, if you ask me. It's all just a bit off. Do you know what I'm saying? It all just don't feel right to me. Lecturing us, lecturing the public on why. I mean, I wouldn't even. It's not even so bad. But one minute they're saying, "Is the fight's going to be in Wembley?" They'd written off Saudi, hadn't it? Is it in my imagination, or it was only a few weeks ago they were saying, "Yep, this, it's not happening in Saudi. The Saudis don't want it." It's going to be in the UK. Now we're back on the Saudi thing. We haven't moved forward in like three months, people. Yeah? Before the Chisora fight, two months ago, it was Saudi or the UK. We're still back there. He just said, oh, if the Saudis don't have the money, we'll come to Wembley. But I do believe the Saudis have the money. So what you're basically saying is, you haven't got a clue what's going on. That's what that means, doesn't it? You ain't got a clue what's going on. I don't understand that. In this day and age with emails and whatnot, I don't understand what takes so long to get this fight locked in. Is it maybe it's just me? But this whole vibe, this whole vibe of oh it's the money and the way that Bob I understand Bob's old, but still the way Bob going on it's almost as if it's leading up to him saying, oh yeah, the f um, these fighters, um, they only have a limited amount of time and therefore the fight couldn't be signed because we couldn't get the right money. That's what the way he was lecturing then. Oh, these fighters aren't like me. They could, they've only got a limited time span, so they need to maximise the money, and it's got to be about the money. And 
yeah, you've been making 30 million. For, I mean, you just fought Chisora for 20 million. Complete bum fight. And the basis of that fight was sold on. Don't worry, people. I'm fighting Chisora as a bum fight. Because I'm going straight in there with Usyk. That's what the backing was. It wasn't, well, I'm going to get paid 20 mil for nothing. And then not fight, end up fighting David Price. It's tiring. And it's also the energy. And this clown here. Yeah, this bounty looking ass coconut. Chisora. Get this guy out of here 100%. Sitting there giggling along. <laughs> clown. These guys, yeah, they mugged you lot off. All the mugs, yeah, who paid... For that Fury vs. Chisora show. It was a mugging show. Absolute sparring session rubbish. Yeah? And I wouldn't mind if this Usyk fight was locked in. Usyk wants to fight. I believe Usyk will fight for a fair fee. I don't. I, I genuinely don't believe Usyk yeah, is the one sitting there penny picking. I don't believe it. It's these clowns. Because so far, I mean... They've just admitted what Usyk said. Usyk said, the fight's not being signed because these guys are playing my money. They didn't come out and say, oh, we'll fight for free. We'll... They literally said, yeah, well, there's a film, show me the money, and we're not being showed the money. You know what I mean? That's all you need to know, people. These guys are funny style guys. Chisora's a big coconut looking ass, 100%, clown. Get this, get that guy, get Chisora out of here, man. I ain't trying to hear no more from Chisora. He's a clown. Yeah, he's always popping up everywhere he ain't supposed to be. And no one trying to see Chisora hanging around the place. Yeah, get him out of here, 100%. Until this fight's signed, I ain't trying to see no more from these guys. Bottom, full stop. Not that it matters, and that's the that's the sad thing about the world today. The sad thing is, if Tyson Fury ends up fighting David Price, there'll be 60,000 clowns paying no doubt selling out some arena to go and watch it. That's the sad thing about today's the state of affairs. There's no pressure on these men. There's none. Same as Errol Spence and Crawford. Yeah, I think, I'm not sure, but allegedly Crawford just got paid 10 mil to fight Avenesian. Now, in all due respect, I thought Avenesian was going to be more of a challenge than he was. But still, you're making life-changing lottery money. To do nothing. Is it really a big mystery that these guys don't want to get in there and really tangle with the top ones? Not really. But I don't understand it. Who's paying? Who? Which one of you mans is paying for this crap? Because in my opinion, Fury vs Chisora, that literally should have been no pay-per-view sales and no one at the tickets. At that point, they'd say, oh no. I can't make 20 million for a sparring session. I best get in there. And that's how it used to be. In the old days, yeah, the only way to make money was to go in there with top dogs. People weren't, pay per view wasn't for Fury vs. Chisora. It was for top dogs, top fights, premium fights. Seriously, that's how it used to be. Now nah, it's just full of watered down crap. You can't even blame them because it's you, man, who are paying for it. You know, It's not even like it's their fault. There should be no other option. Yeah? Errol Spence versus Furman. No one should buy that. Furman's been old. He's been washed. You know what I'm saying? That, that fight was popping. That's another great example, in fact. I remember Spence versus Furman six years ago. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's, it's always the way. Spence versus Furman. It's six years old. That fight was popping and red hot five, six years ago. And we get it now. After Manny Pacquiao, at 50 years old, had a go on court, had a go on Keith Furman, put him down. And we saw what Yugos did to Fer um, Pacquiao. Do you know what I'm saying? What's going on here? It's embarrassing. And I wouldn't mind, yeah, if YB, you know, Fury's hurting for money. and But the way he carry on about bare knuckle this, bare knuckle that, there's no bare knuckle in these guys, man. You can fight for truckloads of money, but you want more. It's like, it's all odd. It's all super odd. And there's no other way of explaining it. Fury is jittery about Usyk for some reason. I don't know why. Although, I think it's something to do with Fury's personality. There's something in him, yeah, that's, j that's iffy. He did it with the AJ fight. He did it with the Wilder fight. And now the Usyk fight. There's always something wrong. Always something. And it's always everyone else. And let's be real now. 
can't be... Why is it Usyk can make a fight with AJ, no problem? Why is that? Why is it everyone else can make a fight, no problem? This guy is the common denominator. Unless it's a bum. Yeah, Fury vs Chisora sailed on through. And the worst thing is, yeah, they're with the same management teams. Chisora is 258 management. AJ's management team. Fury's team were negotiating with Chisora at the same time. Like, where are they doing that one at? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Weird. Anyway, th that's the current state of affairs. Fury clowning off, using the money excuse, bottom line. You've heard him there. We're not fighting until they show us the money. And let's not forget, Fury was the one who initially irritated the Saudis by saying, you're going to give me 500 million. And that's what turned their interest off. Yeah, these guys don't want to be told what to do. They're going to pay you nicely. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be you're going to be thankful for it. Not demanding and you know what I mean, that's not how it works. But clearly they've to some extent come back to the table. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, not looking good right now 100%. Not looking good. This whole demeanor here, I don't know. Is Tyson Fury on a downer? In a minute, it'll be buzzing. But all that bipolar rubbish, that don't lead nowhere anyway. It's not like he's going to be buzzing and sign the contract. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Anyway, we'll see how it plays out. Not looking good, though. U6, fears of Fury, only caring about the money and trying to squeeze blood out of a stone are confirmed. Let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe, and lick off the bell 100%.